bound and down, loaded up and trucking. We gon' do what they say can't be done. We got a long way to go, and it's short time to get there. I'm westbound, oh, watch old bandit run. Welcome back to an all new trucking journey. I'm Trucker Jim, coming to you from the road, westbound. I'm between Houston and San Antonio. My expectation is the audio is excellent. I know I haven't been cranking out a whole lot of content here lately, and the content that I was cranking out, a lot of people wasn't exactly digging. Because it was like stuff about my dead dog and my Uncle John and, and, and rap songs and blah, blah, blah. But uh, things are, uh, we're shaking them up a little bit. And I tried the suburban life, people. I gave it a year. I did a lease. But at the end of this month, the lease is up. My commitment has been fulfilled. Minus the cleaning I've got to do this weekend. But on this all new trucking journey, certain promises that I want to make to the audience is number one, the audio is going to be good. Chest test, one, two, check mic. Bop, bop, bop. That's right. We have wireless capabilities now, not just boom mic. Boom mic picks up like everything. It's very sensitive. Also, buttery B-roll. Yeah chosen piece of gear for that is not available to the average consumer, which is what I am at this moment, at time of recording, but DJI, on your next version, send it to Trucker Jim. I'll try it out. But on this one, on November 1st, or shortly thereafter, I'm going to be dropping 500 big ones on a pocket camera. What? That's right. But it's a gimbal. And it only takes a second to come on. And I can do like that. Because one thing that bugs me about having to use, you know, an iPhone, which an iPhone is a, a definite piece of equipment for any filmmaker because it's always on you and they do a really good job. That's what this is being filmed on is, is an iPhone. But if you're filming, you can't talk on it. Or what's usually the problem, you're talking on the phone and you see something so you can't use your phone to record unless you say, gotta go, and hang up, which I have done. But it never really works out. I'm like, ah, I didn't even get a good shot and I hung up on the person. It was a lose-lose, you know. But with a pocket cam, I think that's gonna change. And also being a gimbal and also in the pocket, you can use it instead of a phone or have the phone too, so I'm excited. But today is a dreary, rainy, kind of foggy day. I drove through Houston, it was still dark, so boom, missed that rush hour traffic in Houston, which that's always something you wanna to try to do on this run. Houston, Baton Rouge, Atlanta are the ones that can get you if you hit them at the wrong time. But I'm out here trucking people. And this is the first video, really. I tried a live video last night with the AirPods in, audio sucked, so I took it down. I guess that's better than leaving all my bad audio live things up, though. And you know, you go, so let me see what Tracker GM's all about, you know, and you see that and it sucks, you're like, you'd never want to watch anything again. So I have to safeguard the legacy what's available on YouTube. But I like this, being able to drive on the interstate, east, west, bound and down, loaded up and trucking, and having good audio, and it's safe. There's nothing dangerous about them. Checking the mirrors. So what a great run to get myself back in the groove been on the road, been in the truck, 
run to Laredo. And come on back. Have a couple days off. Finalize everything and figure out what else I need that I don't have. And the things that I don't need that I have, get them out of here. Use my space efficiently. Get my camera and recording techniques and habits down. And uh, yeah, we'll end the year strong. Very, very strong. You know, even during these times of who knows what's gonna happen economically in a lot of other companies, trucking is gonna keep happening. It has to, it has to. If it don't, look out. Texas has excellent, listen to me now, excellent rest stops. They do, they have some great, and they are in abundance. There's a, you know, one every 40 miles or so, it seems like. I had some booting balls yesterday. I also bought some, uh, some ice cream. It was a cheaper ice cream, too, with all the yeah, sugars in it. This was, was like a, a waffle cone, you know, the uh, Nutty Buddy. But this was an ice cream. It was beside the Kit Kat ice cream. Yeah, it's not the healthiest thing. But the good news is it's gone. Like, gone. So I won't be sneaking back for any more of that because been there, done that. But other than that, I've ate pretty healthy. If you count leftover spaghetti healthy. But I've had some blueberries. Do y'all hear that buzzing sound? But this video is just a little test of talking while driving. Everything went, yeah, smooth enough, I guess. I got a trailer behind me, and I'm headed north with it. Not exactly going to Laredo, though, like I was expecting, which could possibly get me back Thursday. Now I'm going to Smyrna. So we'll see how it goes after Smyrna. Smyrna, in case you didn't know, is right outside of Nashville, Tennessee. There's a big Nissan plant. Whatever I've got has something to do with Nissan. It's not going to the Nissan plant, a supplier of Nissan. But I don't know what's going on, y'all. It's raining, but that's not what's crazy. It is cold in Laredo. And somebody said it was snowing in, a, in El Paso. What's going on with the weather? My mom's calling me, said there's another hurricane that's gonna hit New Orleans. 
Well, I was going to be going through there, but uh, now I'm going to be headed up towards Dallas on my way to Nashville. Yes. Don't mess around with Border Patrol. But we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. It's already went along. It's already went a little long, but I got a lot of things I want to talk to you guys about. So what that means, you can expect regular uploads. I will commit to at least one a week, but I'm thinking it's probably going to be three. But guys, I feel really good. I'm happy to be out here on the road. I'm excited about the upcoming paychecks for being on the road. You know, money can't fix a lot of problems. You know, it's not all about the money. It's about the journey, too. And that's what you're going to see here on the Trucker Gym channel for, I don't know, the next few months, year, however long this, uh, this round goes. But, I mean, I'm committed. I'm going to be in a truck most of the time. And I, I, I feel a lot of stress relief because of that. Hey, but thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Subscribe if you hadn't. Smash that thumbs up if you're digging this content. Or if you're not, by all means, drop an elbow on that thumbs down. And I'll see you next time. But until then, everybody, be safe out there. And keep on trucking. Put your arm out the window. Let it go.